G'day YouTube. What we're going to do today, we're going to mould the foot. Okay, things we'll, things we'll need, we'll need this pink cell odd bod. It comes in part A and part B. Part A, part B. Pink, white. Okay, so that's what we need. Other things we need, the beakers. What we need is, it's equal parts. All right, another thing we'll need, a brush, tongue depressors, and what else do we need? And we need a volunteer, a foot. And any old foot. This one shall do. Alright. The idea is we have our beaker. Mix some of this. Then some of this. We mix it. We go like that. Then we put it on the foot. You brush it. Brush it all around. Do a couple of coats. All we want to do is we only want to be doing small amounts so we don't because it only has a six minute working time and that was the plan I can't catch that in silicon that but it's but anyway. and now we will start the process got our part A We we'll put in our beaker. Scrape out as much as we can. It's probably an ideal thing to have more jars of the stuff because you don't want to be running out in the in the middle of um, doing your uh, your cast of your foot or whatever whatever body part the ear <coughs> this this odd bod's good for doing uh, small objects not um, not bigger objects like faces this has a short working time compared to some of the other um, pink sills they got on the market. We know, so we get our white. White. <coughs> now we get part B. Put it in the uh, beaker. It doesn't start to go off until you have mixed it together with part A and part B. Try and clean it. Let's get out as much as you can. Because you're paying for every little thing. It's a bit messy. You can uh, put it, put a glove on if you like. Mm, that one's pretty much gone. What we're looking for is about the same amount as what's in one beaker and what's in the other beaker. Brush, brush there. A little bit 
more. Just basically by eye, or you probably do it by by weight, but it's about right about. Now we'll start to mix it. For this model, for this silicon video, my name is, I am Madison, and I'm four years old. We do mix it around. Make sure it's good and mixed. You only have a six minute working time with this pixel. What we what we now do is we put it on a foot. That's cold. We make sure that the foot's clean. We'll need a cup. We'll need a couple of coats. That's why we just do a light, Pink. light coating first. Get our brush, sacrificial brush. Do the feet, the toes. And don't forget, we need to do underneath the foot as well. That tickles. That's and that's cold. Painted. It's a bit of a messy um, thing, but it's pretty cool in the final product. And it's pink. And a bit pink as well. And it's light pink. Do I love it? <laughs> you need to work fast, otherwise it'll set on you. This one you don't need to. This pink seal you don't necessarily need to put on any talcum powder or anything. It just comes off uh, rather easily. You just pull it off. Just pull it off, that's right. You know, they're in the way. Because they're so big. My tummy's even big. Alright, we need to make sure we get everything. Need to make sure we get our toes, the bottom of the feet. Yeah, you need to make it um, quite quite thick, so when you pull it off, it won't won't tear. And one break. So we use as, use as much as it, we can before it. Before it starts raining again. Before it starts to set, you and can see when it starts to set. Now that the, the tube is already getting setting. It's setting. It's rather a messy pro process like I said <laughs> starting set already got to make sure we get the toes right and other bits and pieces done why can't I Mummy then and mine. Why can't why can't why can't why can't daddy do your thing? I only could do one foot at a time, whatever we've got. Safe for kids. And safe for grown ups. And safe for grown ups. Well I don't I don't want a face one because you have to go like this and I don't want it on my eye. It's <coughs> a good idea, Good idea, 
cute. Rather a sticky, Gilly. sticky thing to work with, but it's. Don't move your toes. Try and get your subject to stay as still as they can. Otherwise, you're going to have problems trying to get it out of the mould. Trying to control the four-year-old child can be a little difficult, but... Look on the floor, Mummy. I do this outside, so you, so your wife doesn't get cranky at you. <laughs> we'll put some paper towel down or something or other. It's a inside. That's the first coat. Now we wait six minutes. Okay, before the next round of uh, silicon, what, we're, what we have a look at is to see what parts are going to be lighter. So what we need to concentrate on, just put some more along this edge here, more along the front here. And we want something um, strong so we can actually pull it out of the mould. So we'll put some more on the back over here. Alright. And I'll show you okay, it's, it's been about 10 minutes since uh, we've applied the second coat. Now it's ready to come off. Basically all we do is we give it, with the help of our volunteer, we try and slide it forward. Just don't want to give too much pressure. Getting over the heel, and we just need to get the toes free. <sighs> right, starting to come free now. Just work at the toes a bit. Just wait. So we're just working it a bit because the toes are like have detail in them. The odd bod would get in between the toes. It's just a matter of working at it. It's coming, it's coming now. It'll start. It'll come off. Just. But toes are free. Okay, it's just like a sock, pretty much. Just gentle. All right. No, we have foot. one foot. No, no foot has been harmed in the process of this. And when we look down here, we have one foot mould out of silicon. Hello, YouTube. Set two. The silicate foot mould. Very good. Okay, what we've done is we've set up a baking dish. We set up a baking dish, we put the foot in there, we put the sand around to hold the silicon mould upright so we can at least put it into the oven. Otherwise we'll have no way of uh, keeping it up while we're doing this process. Alright. Okay, so what we do now is we make sure that whatever plastic, we, the plastic that we put in there will be HDPE2 or uh, plastic injected um, HDPE2 and number four. All right, so what we do is just like that, all right? All right, very good. 
Okay, now all we do is we put it in the oven. Oh, and we put that one in. I think it's been in there for long. Then we close the lid. Set the, um, the oven at 180 degrees. I've taken the foot out of the oven. I have um, cooled I have cooled it down and I've taken the um, I've taken the front um, silicon off and just taking the the back bit off now and the toes the problem the problem I've had with the silicon is that it it get it gets the detail really fine. Problem is, I should have um, sprayed more silicon in inside the mold, so so pulling it off wouldn't be a, a problem. Okay, the problem, I, the major problem I had is it fell apart. The reason being is I just didn't use enough silicon. Then it just once it started tearing, it just like continued to tear. Other than that, it, it got all the lines, got the toes, toenails, even had a little bit of bone structure here. Looks a little bit cool, looks like it's been, been cauterized. Um, the foot, the foot color looks a little bit, um, or how do you say, like a diseased foot. <laughs> but no, it it come up really well. So, just say if you you had a problem like that, what you could do is you could either put a plaque on there, just drill a couple of holes here, and and you could put a picture picture of of the the girl or the boy or whatever you wanted to um, if you wanted to make a foot of theirs. Well, no, no, that's come up really well. You get the different colours. I like the colours. You get the the creases, everything like that, really well. I think that's a that's a, a successful um, melt of the foot, except for the silicon mold. Should have should have sprayed more silicon in there, silicon spray, and also the thing being is that I should have not. Um, uh, worried about putting too much um, of the odd bot on there too less you get walls that are pretty thin and they'll break pretty easy other than that I don't have a problem with that that's kind of right and just say like but that's not very attractive to you what you could do is if the mold is still good is you could actually uh, re um, redo that. You could you could re melt the foot again because that would melt. Um, you could just say um, cut that whole section there out. Then once you put the foot back into the mold, it'll be a bit of a bit of a struggle, but you can put it back in there. Then you could remelt it down again, and it should should fix that. Other than that, you'd start again, or you can mount the foot. Depending on how you want to display it, you could mount the foot upside down like that, so you get the toes like that. You know, you can just you can use it as a paperweight. But other than that, I think that's pretty good.